Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is lecture number 13 and the part 6 for the solution of the electrodynamics by DJ Griffith. Okay. Uh, in the previous 5 part, we already solved the problem 2.12, 2.40. The description given in the uh, link in given in the description box, you can refer to this uh, link. And also we solve the problem asked in the electricity and magnetism by Vasudev Ghosh in the previous lecture also that's been uh, the total 13 lectures covered to the solve the electrostatic magnetism problem uh, some part for Vasudev Ghosh book and some for uh, DJ Griffith book okay so let's start in this video we want to discuss about the problem 2.41 to 2.47 so let's start with question 2. Point one right <clears throat> two point four one problem said that find the electric field at a height z above a above the center of a square sheet that is set a carrying a uniform surface charge density sigma check your result of this limiting case okay so there is a square sheet and the distance above this z we need to find out the electric field in case of this uh, two point problem 2.4 you know uh, very well already we discuss this problem if there is a square loop for that the electric field will be like that if there is a square loop the electric field will be like that now we can change this lambda into the surface charge density this is sigma into da by 2 because uh, if we take that is a a and this is a plus da so the increasing is da by 2 that's why this is da by 2 so the total electric field will be uh, lambda changes uh, sigma da by 2 and other thing will be remaining same and the limit will be 0 to a now if you just integrate this using this some uh, 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 substitution that is using first a square equal to 4u and uh, then change a to u you will be get this equation and after that if you put a u plus 2u plus z square equal to t square then integrating 2u plus z square equal to t square so 2 du equal to 2t t, t, so du equal to t du and change the limit of u to t u 0 to u square by 4 and t z to this just putting this value in this expression you will be get this equation and finally you get this solution i think you can do this integration very well uh, for any query you must comment in the comment box right go to the next question sorry uh, now the electric field will be like that there is a two limiting case that is a tends to infinity and z very much greater than 2a when a tends to infinity that is infinite plane sheet if the plane sheet is infinite then this is sorry this a tends to infinity that means tan inverse infinity that inverse infinity is pi by 2 and this is pi by 4 so you will get sigma by 2 epsilon naught you know this is the electric field for a infinite plane sheet this matches and now if we take z is very much greater than 2m that means the distance is very far away then you need to take the uh, uh, the Taylor expansion of this tan inverse this so if you take tan inverse 1 plus x minus 4 pi by 4 uh, into this form Taylor form so put x equal to 0 this gives you 0 uh, a prime if you de take derivative of this you will be get this expression if prime 0 is 1 by 4 and so on only we take the two term and other term will be neglected this term is 0 and this term is 1 by 4 so other term neglected because this z is slower so this is very small that's why we neglect this so if you put this two term new term and uh, change the x into z you will be get the x expression and you can see that sigma into a square is the total charge so the you will be get d equal to 1 by 4 plus q by z square into z square this electric field just like a electric field for a point charge right go to the next question 2.42 says if the electric field on some region in the spherical polar coordinates is given here this is the given electric field 
what is the charge density you know the differential form of gauss theorem that is the divergence equal to rho epsilon naught so rho equals to epsilon naught divergence so you need to find out the divergence of this electric field in the spherical polar coordinate the divergence form is 1 by r square del del r of r square into a r and 1 by r sin theta del del phi there is no theta term that's why we do not write this theta del del phi uh, into this a phi so if you put this one so uh, then you integrate this will be 2 r so Mm, sorry this r cancel out so you will be get only a right similarly in case of this b sin theta is common out and r also taken out on derivative with respect to phi this is minus sin phi so finally you will be get this the charge density clear next question uh, find the net force that the southern hemisphere of a uniform charge pair uh, exert on the north hemisphere that means there is a two part uh, if, if this is uh, spare there is two part northern hemisphere and this is southern hemisphere you need to find out the force exerted by northern hemisphere by southern hemisphere this is a like a problem 2.38 where this was the metal sphere and this is a uh, uniformly charged sphere okay this is the basic difference from problem 2.12 you know the electric field within this pair charge pair will be like that so if you take the z direction this is the process is same as the problem 2.323 so in the z direction this will be the cos theta component because you remember this uh, the force along that this is force and along the z direction this angle is theta this angle is theta so this will be f cos theta and f is nothing but q into e charge into electric field is the force so f cos theta charge is rho into dv d tau is dv the volume and e cos theta so rho is charge by total volume and e is this expression cos theta d tau in spherical polar coordinates r square sin theta dr d theta d phi okay so if you take this as this constant and this r and r square r q sin theta this cos theta d theta d phi limit of the d phi is 0 to 2 pi theta limit will be 0 to pi by 2 because this is half sphere hemisphere that's why pi by 2 so this is the r to the power 4 by 4 and this integration will be half if you take half then sin 2 theta so the integration of sin 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2 if you put this value this gives you to this 2 and half is cancel out and integration of this is 2 pi so finally you will get this expression <coughs> next question an inverted hemispherical uh, ball of radius r carries a uniform surface charge density sigma find the potential difference between the north pole and the center so you need to find out the potential at this pole and this center so at center the potential will be 1 by 4 pi center sigma is the charge and distance is the r so if you put sigma total uh, surface area that is 2 pi r square total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square and this is hemisphere so this is 2 pi r square right so this is the potential at center this point this is the center center and this is the north pole north pole right so you know, want to find out the potential at north pole this will be 1 by power sigma a and this distance will be curl r and this curl r nothing but the r square plus r square in minus 2 r cos theta and sigma d a d a is the r square sin theta d theta d phi small area in this spherical polar coordinate system so the integration of d phi is 2 pi and the integration of sin theta for that <coughs> sorry so if you take the r square as a common you will be get the root 2 1 minus cos theta and that's it so if you put this 1 minus cos theta as the t square you will be get sin theta d theta equal to 2 t dt okay so if you change this limit you will be get integrating this value so the potential difference will be like that clear go to the next one sorry 
A sphere of radius capital R carries a charge density this. Find the energy of this configuration. Check your answer calculating at least two different ways. So you know there is four way to find out the uh, energy of any configuration, right? So here we can take this formula that is energy 1 by 2 rho v d tau v is the potential d tau is the volume similarly another formula is epsilon by 2 e square d tau e square is the electric field and d tau is the volume so you need to know about the electric field and potential right so that's why at first we need to find out the potential and the electric field so at inside the electric field uh, using the gauss theorem e dot d s equal to q s one by epsilon or not so e into 4 pi r square this is a square of the 4 pi r square rho dv so rho is kr and this is 4 pi r square and the limit will be 0 to r so finding integrating you will be get this a, a electric field inside similarly for outside the e dot ds equal to q s r and this uh, for the outside the charge will be up to capital r that's why i put capital r and finally you will get this the electric field outside the sphere right now we get the electric field inside and outside so you need to find out the potential also so potential is minus e dot dr for outside this is that and if you put this value you will be get this expression now this condition at r equal to infinity the potential will be 0 so if you put this r 1 by infinity is 0 and this is 0 you will be get c1 equal to 0 so finally you get output uh, potential is like that similarly for inside the potential will be minus e dot dr uh, putting this value of inside electric field and this is dr we will be get this expression ok so at r equals to r that is on the surface the v in is equal to v out so v in equal to v out you will be get the value of c2 and putting this value of c2 you will be get the inside potential so we get inside outside electric field and also potential now method 1 w equal to 1 by rho v d tau so rho is kr and v is this inside field because uh, the charge density present in the inside only the out in the outside there is no charge density that's why this limit will be up to r capital r inside point right up to inside this is your uh, that's why they put the potential of inside after that if you integrate you will be get this expression clear next method if you take this method the epsilon by 2 e square d tau so all space means there is two electric field and uh, there is two different electric field for different uh, two region um, that is up to uh, in capital r and uh, r to infinity right so for inside electric field is like that for outside electric field is like that and after integrating you will be get this expression and this is nothing but the same expression okay I think you can do this integration uh, very easily for any query you must comment in the comment box. Go to the next question 2.46 electric potential of given expression. This is the electric potential which is given. Find out the electric field number 1, number 2 charge density, number 3 total charge. So the electric field uh, we can find out the electric field from potential using this relation minus grad v. So in uh, 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 spherical polar coordinate system this is del del r of this uh, with r cap so if you derivative we like that you will be get this electric field ok after that if you wants to find out if we want to find out the charge density charge density charge density equal to epsilon not divergence of e divergence of this if you divergence of this you can find out this r square by r cap as a function and this is a scalar function <coughs> now if you, you know you, you know this is a delta function in the very first video we discuss about the drag delta function this is the delta function and if you multiply this delta function you will be get this expression you, 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 equation 1.88 if you refer to this book that is the dj griffith book electrodynamics dj griffith book equation 1.88 you can get this expression okay and this one is nothing but the derivative with respect to r with the r cap so if you derivative with respect to r you will be get this expression so rho is epsilon naught a and this term will be gives you 4 pi delta q r and this is nothing but r cap r cap r cap is 1 so lambda square by r e to the r minus lambda okay 
because there is r and 1 by r square so there is only one r so you will be get this row that is charge density we found this expression now you need to find out the total charge so total charge will be like that epsilon not a 4 pi delta q and to 4 pi r square so this gives you 1 and this is nothing but gives you this 1 by lambda square this integration is done here uh, just bypass using this bypass you will be get 1 by lambda square so if you putting this value you will be get 0 total net charge will be 0 in that case okay go to the next question 2.47 to infinity long wire running parallel to uh, uh, to the x axis can infrage this is x axis and these two uniformly uh, running parallel wire with charge plus lambda and minus lambda find the potential at any point using your reference origin as a reference origin as a reference so the potential at uh, v plus due to due to plus charge at any point if we take this any point so this is minus lambda by 2 epsilon naught ln sa by a similarly for sa is the distance from this positive charge and s minus is from negative charge okay so the total uh, potential will be the addition of these two and finally this and from figure you can uh, see this, this from figure from figure you can derive this expression very easily that is s plus equal to like that s minus equal to like that so if you putting this value you will be get this expression because due to do root there is a half that's why this two becomes four this is the potential expression now we need to find out the so that the equipotential surface are uh, circular cylinder locate the axis and radius of the cylinder corresponding <laughs> potential given potential right so this is the potential if you take this and the exponential from if you take this potential is constant for equipotential surface the potential will be constant so if this is a constant if you take this as a k so this uh, if you arranging this you will be get this expression now we can rearrange them in this form we can rearrange them in this form such that we can take as a origin y0 minus uh, comma 0 and radius is r so this expression will be like that and if you compare this expression with this one you will be get this you will be get this uh, value that is y0 equal to like that s square equal to like that and if you put the value of y0 then you will be get the value of r radius so r is like that so in terms of v0 y0 can be can calculated to a y0 equal to a k plus 1 by k minus 1 and you know this is the k this is the k so if you put the value of this exponential um, expression exponential expression and multiply to the power minus this such that we can write this is the cot hyperbolic and similarly r will be uh, changes into the value of v0 terms so if you k wants to value of, uh, using this term and just divided you will be get this cosec hyperbolic this okay so in terms of v0 we can find out this y0 that is the origin origin this is the uh, origin or center and r is the radius so these are the uh, these are calculated in terms of v0 okay and finally the equipotential uh, surface will be like that circular and the x-axis is the perpendicular to the plane in the x-axis this will be like a cylinder okay so this is a like a cylinder i think clear if there is any problem you must comment in the comment box and the calculation you must do yourself for uh, the uh, uh, that's it for the next video we want to discuss about the uh, uh, next questions right so in that time you try to this one okay so that's it this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the other video like that share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet on the next video as soon as possible thank you